13 times. And I'm gonna, I'll give you the list of them. Uh, and this is dealing with Jeroboam. Talking about Jeroboam and Jeroboam specifically him making them the sin. You find it in uh, 1 Kings 15, 26. So in 1 Kings 15, 26, so I'll just put them over here. 1 Kings, and then I'll write them under. 15, 26. Then you got... Uh, 1530, you got 1619, 1626, then 1631, then you go over to 2 Kings, and you got 136. You got 1311. You got thir uh, 1424. Then uh, 159. Then uh, 1518. And 1524. There's a bunch of them, Then 1528, and then finally, you got 1722, 13 of them, 13, 5, you want to notice numbers in the Bible, because numbers play a part, God uses numbers. Uh, I'll tell you how God uses numbers. He tells that one uh, fellow, he says, uh, take that arrow, and he says, smack the ground. And he smacks the ground three times, and that prophet looks at him and says, you dummy. And he said, that's how many times you're going to de defeat your enemy. Had you have struck it more, see, the more, higher number, more numbers, struck it more, you'd be more. So all the way through, God uh, uses numbers to show you things because God God uses numbers. He does. Uh, just like, uh, what is 40? Anybody know? 40 is used for judgment. 40 years in the wilderness they wandered. Right? All the time, whenever you see 40, majority of the time is going to be related to judgment. What's the number three? Trinity. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Anytime you see three. Three is a divisional number that God uses to make up things. You've got man, woman, child. That makes a family. You've got uh, uh, earth, water, and sky. That's three. That makes up the elements of the earth. Uh, you, everything is divisional by three. Uh and, of course, if you want division, then you got the number two. Number two is the number of division. Uh, so everything, number one, well, there ain't but one God, man. The number 12, that's the nation of Israel. The number 10, that's the Gentile nation. Ten Gentile kings, everywhere you see ten, typically common, lined up with uh, uh, Gentiles. What's the number six? Six is the number of man. Notice the three divisions. Six, six, six. You know what that is? That is the satanic trinity. The mark of the Antichrist. The mark of the beast. That's the satanic trinity. Six, six, six. It's man. It's man's trying to get his way to get back to God. It's man. Man's rebellion. Amen. The number seven. That's God's number, number of perfection. That's, you know, that's God. All the way through. Number uh, eight is uh, new beginnings. And number nine is fruitfulness. See? They're all there. Numbers mean things. Now, do you, do you am I saying play the numbers? No. <laughs> Not what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about playing the numbers or lottery or anything. I'm just saying 
Numbers in the Bible mean things. They have references to things. So it's not that you put a lot of necessarily, I don't want to say put necessarily don't pay attention to them, but don't base something on a number. But be aware that the number has a meaning and that it's, you know, it's used there to help you so that you can see things. If you're looking at a verse and there's some numerical things in there, that may help you, clue to you to what it is while in your Bible study. So God uses those things. And he uses them to show us things. They're there to help us. All right, so anyway, so there's 15, 13 times it mentions that Jeroboam talked making Israel to sin. Made Israel to sin. How did he make them to sin? By perverting them. If you go back over there where we first started, he was afraid of the people. Remember? He was afraid he was going to lose them once the kingdom split. He was afraid they were going to lose them and they were going to go back to uh, Jerusalem to worship and he wouldn't be able to keep them. And so he made up this golden calf for them to worship. That's how he made them to sin. He perverted them spiritually. Spiritual perversion. Now, 